everybody. Welcome to a new first actual video of the 2022 year with life with Brandon and Alex. Uh, Alex is over there. Hey, Say hey. So as you see, we are not in North Carolina. We are currently in Washington, D.C. I am um, celebrating my 30th birthday. Yes, as y'all already know, we make things happen on our birthdays. So we are in currently are in Washington, D.C. We're gonna be here from Thursday to Sunday. Um, this is our Airbnb that we're in right now, which is really, really nice. As you see, there go the fiance. Ooh. Hey, y'all. No, Ooh. you can't look at my hands, so don't ask. Oh, um, but we are going to give you a kind of little tour of the airbnb real quick before we go and get food we actually been here for a while um, we went to the national um national historical museum of african culture mm -hmm. um and so that was really nice it's really big it's four levels we only got to two or three levels um so we definitely want to go back again and it was um, really really nice. So if you guys are in the DC definitely check this out, but this is our Airbnb So pretty much when you first come in you have a nice little seating area here Nice little living space nice little floors Then you have the kitchen area with full kitchen from the dishwasher Stove microwave all that good stuff. Then we got a refrigerator Here as y'all see we got the Keurig praise God we came prepared, mm -hmm. but we, as y'all see, they got Starbucks. Um, then you have this area here that goes into the bedroom, which is really cool because this can actually spin around um, to kind of turn facing the bedroom area. You have this nice accent brick wall, bedroom, really nice size bed. And then you go into the bathroom with this nice little sliding door here, nice tile. Then you have the shower, which is a nice little rain shower. And then you have the toilet. The latrine. The latrine. Mm -hmm. And then this is another angle. Oh, they also have a dish uh, washer and dryer, which is really nice if you have to wash clothes if you're here for a long extended period of time. Um, but yeah, this is really nice. Nice, cozy very updated very modern um and alex found this as one of our options and so it was like three picked this one because it was really, really nice and it's not too far from everything from the i guess like the i don't know the main city part of dc is like maybe 15, 15 minutes at max um, so now we're about to get some food because we are hungry we are starving actually because mm -hmm. um, all we had was grit cups for this morning's and breakfast coffee. and coffee so we're about to get some food but thank you guys for joining us as we are going to be celebrating my 30th birthday which again my birthday is on sunday january the 23rd so by the time y'all see this video it will already be my birthday so you're still more than welcome to wish me happy birthday um but yeah we're about to get some food so y'all come along and we're gonna get the rest of this uh vlog started In the Airbnb, it's cold. Y'all hear my sniffles? I'm sniffling because I'm cold. I'm not sick, but it's definitely brick. The restaurant was really, really nice. 
Did oh, you enjoy Chris. your yes. turkey burger? I did. It was actually really good. So he had a broccoli coleslaw, y'all. Never have I ever yeah. heard of a broccoli coleslaw. I didn't either. <laughs> um, so basically, it was just coleslaw um, that they made with all the regular ingredients except for cabbage. The broccoli replaced the cabbage. Um, that topped for his turkey burger, but he enjoyed it. I had the Redstone burger. Um, and it was so bacon, juicy. Yeah, oh my God, burger. it was so juicy. It was so good. Um, and then, and then top your uh, sauce. Your yes, buffalo their sauce buffalo homemade. sauce. They make their buffalo sauce in house, y'all. That was that was good. Like I was expecting like traditional, like buffalo sauce. Like if you just you know what I mean. You go somewhere, you order buffalo wings or whatever. You get a side of buffalo sauce. I was just expecting that. No, pimp. They handmade that, and it was dark. It threw me. I thought he brought me brought me barbecue sauce. It's like that was buffalo sauce, and I. Did my finger in it and I tasted it. I said, oh, oh, got a little kick, a little fire back on there. Um, but it was really, really good. Um, our drinks were lovely. I yeah. ended up going ahead and getting the same drink that Brandon had. And I enjoyed it. Um, y'all, I don't know what was going on with the mixer though. They um made Brandon a margarita and I knew it was Pat Ron in there. I knew it was the Patron, but the mixer, it was just not a good mixer with the Patron. So he didn't finish that one and I couldn't help him finish it. I said, no, we're going to leave that on the table. Um, but it was just, it was really beautiful out, but it was just super, super cold. So we didn't do too much walking around. Um, but of course, we went to all favorite store, Tajay Tajay. And we walked around in there. Yeah. Um, so we just kind of were looking at some things, getting ideas for things. We got some big changes coming up. That y'all don't know about yet, that y'all will find out when you find out. So don't ask in the comments because I ain't going to tell you nothing. <laughs> so we were just um kind of looking around walking around and then this man right here can't go into target without buying something y'all yeah i bought me a, a, a uh, kettle kettle so the kettles were in the wrong spot at that all of them were in a spot that say 899 lady rung it up at the register and it would turn it all but i had some rewards yeah um but yeah but still it defeated a purpose <laughs> but i needed it yeah. so we are back in the airbnb mama's about to make her a cup of coffee we are about to find us probably a movie or something to watch um we've had a long but yet eventful day it's mm -hmm. only the first day um so we have enjoyed it thus far Three, well two and a half days left. yeah so we are going to go ahead and uh call this night a night and we will see y'all in the morning for breakfast yes Peace. all right good morning y'all how y'all doing it's friday whistle whistle um we are dressed and ready as you can see hey birthday boy whistle people um so it is currently 11 09 um, we are getting ready to head to breakfast, have us a nice little, um, you know, meal, and then we are going to do a little bit of sightseeing today. It has been uh, several years since Brandon and I both have been to Washington, D.C., so we are going to go and um, check out some of the monuments, do a little bit of walking around. It is beautiful outside today, y'all. Like, wearing just what we're wearing, we're actually pretty comfortable. Um, especially of course, when you're in the sun. Right, especially when you're in the sun. Of course, we still have our big coats in the back um, because, of course, like just walking around, wind chill, all that takes into effect. But as of right now, it feels really, really good outside. So we're going to take advantage of this nice weather that we're having. Um, we're waiting for the car to warm up right now. We, I think we decided on... What was the name of it? Huh? I think it was... Let me see. Wait, because you texted it to me. I did text it to you. It was like country style. It's cold. I told you I couldn't see it on that menu. Ow! It was too tiny. It's, chicken and waffle. It's a country style chicken and waffle place. Um, we found it yesterday. Um, one of my um, best friends lives out this way, um, and so of course we asked her for some ideas on where to go as far as like brunch and breakfast. And then our Airbnb host, they are so lovely. They messaged us to check in on us this morning, make sure we were good, and yes. they also gave us some lovely recommendations. So just kind of searching and flipping through everything. Um, we settled on one place. They uh, are definitely just like, you know, looking like their food's going to be pretty good. They're cost effective. We ain't out here trying to spend $17 on the breakfast. I mean, it's just breakfast. Right. We don't spend that much money on breakfast. 
and when I say $17 on breakfast, $17 a piece. We're not spending $17 a piece on breakfast, like 17 total, maybe. Not but Catholic, Catholic. a piece for a little breakfast, nah, pimp. So, yes, um, thank you guys for tuning in. If you have not already, make sure you hit that like button. Um, comment, subscribe if you are not subscribed. Listen, y'all, we know it's been a while since we last posted a video. It's okay. <laughs> it's gonna be all right. I hope that, okay. you know, you just kind of bear with us here for a moment, but we're glad that you're here. We're so glad that you stopped by to take a look at our beautiful faces. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but yes, yeah, so if you're here and you are not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can join the fam. Um, you know, everybody loves to promote their bell, so we're going to promote our bell. You don't have to turn that bell on if you don't want to turn that bell on, okay? We ain't making you, we ain't forcing you, ain't no peer pressure. But if you want notifications on every time we post a video, turn your bell on. That's right, that's right, that's right. And make sure, make sure you tell everybody, tell a friend, tell a neighbor, tell your mama, daddy, <laughs> sister, brother about life with Brendan and Alex. Auntie cousin. <laughs> um, your auntie cousin them, your third cousin, twice removed. Tell them all that we are here. We are coming back 2022. It's gonna be a great year. We are super excited to have you guys be a part of our lives and yes. you know, seeing it all. And of course, as you see, we are um, kid free. We don't have Antonia. She's with my aunt at our house, um, but we love you guys and let's get this day started. I'm excited, it's been great so far. I needed this vacation, I needed all of this because I'm about to be 30. It's just a whole lot of going on. I needed it too, and it ain't even my birthday. I just need to get away. <laughs> I just need to get away. But yes, y'all, so um, go ahead and hang out with us for the day and let's see what we have in store. All right, everybody, so we had to change our uh, agenda in regards to breakfast, Instead of us getting breakfast, we are actually eating lunch. Uh, we in the car. In in the Dookie car. <laughs> in the car. Um, so we originally was going to go to the country chicken and waffle place, but when we got there, we realized that they were serving lunch, and so we was like, okay, well we'll find another spot. Found another spot called Tony's Breakfast. We get here. And we went to another one that's right beside it called Tony's Place. So I'm guessing they're both kind of related. Um, when we went into Tony's Breakfast, we looked at the menu. And for one, we thought we was going to be able to sit down and eat. No, nah, No. It's all to carry out and orders online or call in. So we just like, okay, whatever. So we looking like, okay, we're going to order breakfast. And breakfast was like, uh kind of slim and then we realized what time it was we like we might as well just go on and get lunch so we are currently eating um fried chicken which is actually really good um as you see alex is, well you can hear alex over there crunching crunching um we had got four uh chicken wings and fries so that's literally what we're currently demolishing um as you see i got two wings left and she got a wing and a half because she's uh currently slaying this one huh uh -huh. <laughs> So this is the first uh, eating in the car like this, <laughs> but we're making it do what it do uh, and we are adapting and adjusting. Um, once we finish eating, we're going to make our way to uh, the city part of Washington and do some sightseeing. And, Sorry. Um, I bumped you. Sorry. Oh. And so, yeah, so we, we're making it happen, y'all. So y'all stay tuned. Hopefully nothing else changes <laughs> according to plans. Um, as we have right now, but we will see y'all momentarily. Hey y'all, hey, so we are finally out and about walking uh, in this DC winter weather. It's actually not bad when you're walking, but there's some, some places where it's really cold. Uh, right now, we are currently, I guess, about to be walking in the midst of like some protests. Yeah, we didn't even know. We came to come sightseeing. Yeah. And people got signs and they mar have marching. The police got the streets blocked off. Yeah. I'm just like, oh, well, we I didn't intentionally did not come intend here for this. At all. But I mean, what's going on? Right. So we're about to see what's happening, what they're protesting about. Um, 
It said it, I saw a sign yesterday while we was parking talking about an event was gonna be today, but I didn't realize that it was gonna be this type of event. So we're gonna see what happens. We better make our way to the Capitol building and then make our way on down. It's a lot of people it's out a here lot of people. Yeah. Walking. It's Cause... a lot of people out here. So y'all gonna see some of it um, and we're gonna see what happens. So stay tuned. Oh, yeah, anti abortion. Hey, he was just singing. singing. Oh, right, man. So, we found out what the um, protest is about. It's a fight against uh, abortion. Yeah. It's an anti abortion um, march. So they have a lot of people. It looks like it's really organized, real peaceful. They got uh, different people out here playing music and singing. So this is actually pretty cool. Again, we did not expect to come in from North Carolina to see a protest on the weekend that we choose to go to DC. <laughs> but we are trying to see what else they got going on. And hey, this is pretty cool. Y'all, it's a white squirrel. I've never seen a white squirrel in my life. There's the museum that we went to yesterday, the National Historical Museum of African American Culture. Um, again, if you have a chance to come out here, definitely go check that out. It's got a lot of great things in there. Um, and like we said, we didn't get a chance to see it all um, because of time, but it was free. Like if you go on their website and do a free pass time ticket, you go within that time and it's you know it's free. They allow I think up to six tickets in a group. So, really cool. But as y'all see, we are right here. About to watch the monument. The pimps.
y'all so while we we're walking we just saw um what is it called i don't know so basically when the president or the vice president is um the in presidential the, fleet or the, something. the big helicopter we just literally saw three of them two of them of course are decoys but one actually one had, is actually had, him, had him or her if not both in yeah. it and it just landed right at in the, front white of the white house, house on the lawn in front of the white Look, house it's leaving. It's there goes the other one That was pretty cool. Was not expecting that. And I was just saying, I wonder if they're home, um, at the White House. Well, they just got here. <laughs> they just got back <laughs> from wherever they were. Y'all, we standing around like, ooh, is it gonna come up? We, but they're probably getting out. Um, but that was awesome. Things we see while in Washington, D.C. <laughs> <laughs> Next case. Next case. Y'all, we at the Washington Memorial. I mean, the Lincoln Memorial. Lincoln Memorial. Not the Washington Memorial. The Lincoln Memorial. <laughs> All these stairs, y'all. Whoa, babe. This is my workout. Uh. I walk more than three miles. I'm weak. I'm tired. I done did the march, up, the march on Washington, y'all. I'm tired. Y'all, this is literally where the platform was for Martin Luther King. I had a dream speech. The March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom, August 28, 1963. Wow. Literally stood here, gave his speech in front of thousands of people. And now we standing on it. And now we're standing on it. But this is a dream too. Yes. We got a dream too, y'all. We got a dream too, y'all. Hey, Vice President. This is our office, y'all. Executive office. And we're coming up on the house, which is the White House, of course. Y'all, it's a black squirrel. I say 53 